Okay, guys, uh, I wanted to go over a video that Jenna Zwagel did when she interviewed Eric Worre recently. For those that don't know, Eric Worre is a really well-known trainer in the network marketing industry. For those of you who think network marketing is kind of scammy or something weird like that, you need to understand like there are bad players in the industry just like there are in the energy industry, just like there is in the banking industry. Like there's a lot of shady characters in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, one of them was just uh, put into prison for a long time who was doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Every industry has bad players, but you need to understand network marketing when done professionally is an incredible legitimate opportunity for your average ordinary person to create CEO level income because you're bringing value to a company. And I know a lot of you don't understand how that works yet. A lot of you don't understand how Robin and I and our team are helping you build a business faster than you could ever do on your own with this model professionally. I want to go through this video. First, I want you to kind of take in Jenna Zwagel. When I first met her, I was like, what is going on? How could this uh, lady be making millions? She actually is one of, I know she was recently the top earner in the industry. It's because of this company's products and also the heart that she brings to the process. She built this business through free methods just like anybody else could or would. So kind of take it in. She's a multimillionaire massively and she built it on her own. She's actually married to the company founder and she's considered a founder of the company because she introduced the idea of bringing CBT, CBD into the product line and it helped her massively and she wanted it part of the of the company's vision. But she built it just like anybody else would. You need to understand that. So take in kind of her demeanor. She is really real. She's herself. And that's what you got to understand. You can be massively successful here being yourself just as you are. And I think Jenna really like, she really symbolizes that. So take it in. I want you to meet Eric Worre. Understand this is a professional, serious business. You need to get that because once you do and you treat it seriously, it will pay you seriously. And again, Robin and I and our entire team are here to help you get there faster than you could ever, ever do your own. Now, I'm going to stop every once in a while and share my thoughts because there are things that I say and do that are very different than how Eric Worre ever built his business. And he's a trainer in the industry now, but he's built you know million-dollar incomes in previous companies. He did it the old-school way. So I'm going to stop every once in a while and kind of interject to make sure you understand, you know, that we do things really differently in many ways, uh, leveraging the internet and so forth. So I'm going to, I'm going to interject. And also I, I want to kind of correct things. I don't know if correct is the word, but just kind of put you on the right track when Eric says something to make sure that you're on the right track with us. Cause I say things a little bit differently. And I want to make sure you can bring the two worlds together and understand what the heck's going on. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and have you take in Jenna here, who's founder of HempWorks, which is one of the subsidiaries of My Daily Choice. It's the company that pays you. She helped introduce the CBD line, but understand she built this just like any other distributor, just like anybody else would. She did hers through Facebook Lives, just being herself. There's lots of ways to build it. I do it differently. There's lots of different ways that people have built significant incomes here. So don't get caught up in that. Just take in this interview. And again, I'll interject as we go. I want you to understand how legitimate this is when you treat it professionally. I also want you to understand, like, you can just be yourself and do extraordinarily well like Jenna has. Julie from the UK. we got Florida in the house, Kansas, Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome, welcome, you guys. All right, so you guys know the famous Eric Worre already. <laughs> Hopefully you do. Hopefully you've come to Vegas and seen him in a live event. That's where I first uh, met Eric Worre, actually. And, you know, when I was a beginner network marketer and I had no idea what I was doing, I looked at his books, I looked at his training, and I learned a great deal. And I remember back in 2012, actually, I was reading his book, and I remember specifically, I was reading chapter two, and I did kind of like a book report on Facebook, and I remember just writing this call out, and like, man, this is like amazing content, I tagged Eric, we weren't friends at the time, so I had to tag his fan page, and he approved it, he approved it on his wall, and I was like, oh my gosh, Eric approved my post, 
And after that, something crazy happened. And this was like a light bulb moment for me, you guys. <laughs> all these people started following me after that. And I was like, oh my gosh, all Eric's people are now following me. This is insane. So after that, I'm like, I know how to do social media now. Watch. You just, you just. Did you guys catch that? So, you know, there's so many different ways to build this business. Back in 2012, Jenna was, you know, still struggling in the business. Now she's a multi, 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 you can say it a lot more times, millionaire from this business model, which she built all through free methods and social media. Methods that we teach you as well. Now, I build in other ways. I, I spend money. I'm, I'm rare, by the way. I spend money on ads. I attract leads to me. and I know how to monetize those leads, not just with my daily choice, which is my primary income, but also other income streams. And I, I show people how to do that if they want to do it that way. Or you can do it through free methods. There's so many different free methods. She did it through social media. And she just shared in 2012, she got a big aha moment because she did a book report on one of Eric Worre's books before she was ever known or anything. And she posted the book report on his page. He approved it because it was a book report you know, about his book. And that added value to his page. Ding, ding, ding. You getting it? That added value to his page, and so he approved it, and then all of a sudden a ton of people started following her, and she goes, oh, I can just do book reports on really well-known people's pages and build my audience. There's so, so many different ways, guys, to build an audience, build a business. It's just incredible, you know. It really is. You just got to take stuff seriously and follow mentors who know what they're doing. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's keep listening. I want you to really connect to Eric Worre to understand this is a professional business. For those of you who just whatever reason don't realize that. It's got to do book reports on these authors' books. That's all it is. But uh, greetings, everybody from South Africa. We got New York in the house, South Florida. All right. We are right at 301. And I realize a lot of you guys are still hopping on here, but we like to keep these things right on time so let's get this party started so without further ado you guys i would like, like to introduce the one and only eric worry if you've never seen his face before you've probably heard of network marketing pro he's the one that coined the term gopro and i've never stopped saying it since i've learned this this concept you know it was kind of a light bulb moment even just to use that phrase you guys uh become a professional in network marketing if you really want to succeed here become a professional network marketing. So he's the one that coined that. So, so that's a lot of what this is going to be about. Uh, you can start part time. You can like work with very limited resources. Those of you who are already professionals in other areas and who have financial resources, you can leverage a system like I have. Maybe you're limited on time as long as you take a bring a professional mindset to this process and you're consistent, have the basics of a successful process in place. We have the strategy, we have everything you know that you need to be able to duplicate like the success that I've had or other methods like Jen has had and there's other you know, all-star team, upline team that have got to million dollar incomes in different ways. The company's just moving into critical mass. I hope you're already aware of all of that. If not, just Understand this right here, this video I'm sharing with you is about being professional and that, yeah, there's some bad players in the network marketing industry, as I was saying earlier, just as there is anywhere. But when you do it right, uh, not only can you create an incredible income and lifestyle for yourself, but when you're aligned with the right company, it can last for decades and decades and, 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 and something you can pass on to your children. It's really remarkable. And because it's kind of outside the box, uh, it's not something the mainstream pushes. You know, you have to be an outside the box thinker to to understand how to do it properly. You have to sit and learn and get educated, guys. So that's what this is about: get educated about what it really means to be successful in this incredible model. Uh, and he's, uh, as we know, an author and industry-wide famous trainer. He's the king of all MLM events, literally. As you can see, he's set up his house to look like an event. <laughs> so without further ado, Eric, please say hello and uh, to our audience. These are all, everybody in this chat is all from My Daily Choice. So we are here and welcoming you with open arms today. Well, hey, Jenna, and hey, everybody. Great to, great to see you today. So fun to be able to connect. 
I love your flower wall. The flower wall is is really strong. Thank um, you. I think so, I love your, yours though. With the my design. Yeah, yeah. We're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> well, I I just want to uh, say hi to everyone. Congratulations on all your success. Uh, I've been watching what you've been doing over the course of well, I don't know, the last many years, but um, the last 90 days have been extraordinary, right? It has, you know. Uh, it's a weird time for businesses, you know, but I feel like network marketing is still going strong. And our company specifically, we had our biggest month ever in April, and that's probably because 420 is in that month, and we happen to be cannabis fans around here. So, <laughs> um Biggest month ever. We did five million in one day. It was a record-breaking day and month for us. So we haven't slowed down, that's for sure. But let's shift gears a little bit. For those of you who don't know you, regardless of my introduction that I just gave you, I want to know your background before the Eric Warrior we see today, right? I want to know your background, your history as a networker. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like I, I love. I want you guys to like really take a couple of things in here. First of all, they had a five million dollar day in April. You know, if you multiplied that out every day, and although that was a, that was a, a peak day, uh, that would be about one hundred fifty million a month, which is you know one and a half, uh, one point eight billion a year. Now they're they're not going to do that this year. That was the peak day so far, but the point is they can handle that kind of infrastructure, that kind of level of ordering and, and delivering, uh, they have grown faster than any other network marketing company uh, a couple of years ago and one of the fastest last year. They're about five years old. Very few companies make it that far. They're moving into critical mass, which means those that are here now are positioned to do extraordinarily well as they grow into a multi-billion dollar company. So the timing could not be better. The other thing I wanted to point out, oh, and by the way, not every country can get the CBD line, the hemp work subsidiary. But if you're in a country that can't, they have all kinds of other products that are absolutely phenomenal. So you can study that later. I want to focus in on something else here. Notice the culture difference. Here, uh, Jenna is a multi, 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 multi millionaire uh, building this entirely in a method that anybody could do. Uh, and you can see how I want you to notice her, the culture of Jenna and how that is juxtaposed and so different from the culture of Eric Worre, who's very, you know, he's got a professional attire. Or Jen is like really, really uh, got a relaxed attire, very informal. That's her style. Both multimillionaires, highly successful in this industry. Anybody, any personality, this this industry does not discriminate. Uh, you, you, you name it. Like everybody has the ability, no matter what culture or background you come from, or where you know what kind of personality you have. Uh, you, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, we have. Example after example of anyone who treats it seriously succeeds seriously. I just really want you to just really take that in. I love hearing, we talked to Todd last week. We're going to talk to Ray Higdon next week. And I'm just, tell us a little bit about your background and where you kind of came from, how you found network marketing, and why you chose to make this your career. Well, some people get inspired and they, they seek out network marketing because it's better than other forms of entrepreneurship. Other people get involved out of desperation, and that was me. I, I was not one of those like really smart people that was uh, choosing the best way to be an entrepreneur. I just had a cash flow problem, a serious cash flow problem as a young man. I, um, I barely escaped high school. I didn't go to college. I had 18 jobs by the time I was 23 years old. Little family started, and I was already out of money. I was already in debt. I was already scared that I wasn't, you know, that I had too much month at the end of my money. I'd run out of money. I'd still have another 10 days that I'd have to just sit there. And I was always stressed. I was afraid of the mail showing up and embarrassed about my lack of follow through on my, my promises to my family, to myself. And, um, good fortune came my way in the form of network marketing. My, one of my mentors, introduced me to this network marketing profession. Um, and I initially said no, because it just seemed too outrageous, too, too good to be true. Um, but I quickly swallowed my pride, changed my opinion, and 
decided to get involved. And that was in January of 1988. Uh, so a long time ago, 32 years ago, um, 32 plus. And I'd love to tell you that I was a rocket ship to the moon, but I wasn't. Um, I went full time pretty quickly. I made just enough money to survive. So you got to understand like back in 1988, that's building old school ways. That's like calling friends and family, inviting people to hotel meetings, you know, a real hardcore methodology uh, that just isn't necessary anymore. You know, it is so much easier now. You know, most people don't even pick up the phone, uh, let alone, you know, get them out of their house, particularly in this day and age, right? So understand, like, it is so much easier to build now. Now, he's going to talk later about the word easy. Like, you know, he thinks it's doing a disservice to people to tell them it's easy. So I'm going to offer some clarification when he gets to that, because I want you to have full understanding of reasonable expectations uh, for, you know, what it takes to build a life-changing residual income that affords you an incredible lifestyle. Like, I want your expectation to, expectations to be aligned with reality. He's going to kind of address some of that. But again, I want you to be paying attention to the fact that I mean, for those that just don't understand it, this is a very serious career. This is a very, when you treat it professionally, it is a very, uh, I mean, not just legitimate, but extraordinary career. But, you know, you can't come into it with a mentality of lack, with a mentality of victim, that the world owes you, that the world owes you something. It's just that's not going to cut it in any industry. And even though this one's very forgiving, which he also talks about, the most forgiving that there is, the most forgiving model and business that exists, uh, it still it doesn't forgive the mindset of poverty, the mindset that's self-sabotaging. And so if you if you're ready for like mentorship and to treat it seriously, it will pay you extraordinarily well. Um, anyway, just go ahead and connect a little bit more. To what Eric Worre is sharing, I'll be cutting in every once in a while just to add a little bit of clarity to how what he's talking about connects to what we're talking about. Because again, in the 80s when he was building this, uh, when he originally started, it was a much different method, much more challenging than it is today. Not to have any freedom. My first three years were tough. It was a grind for my first three and a half years or so. Um, you know, I made enough money to pay the bills, not enough to get out all the way out of debt. I made enough money to get from event to event, but not enough money to have the lifestyle. You know, I had the pin, you know, I had the like fancy pin from the company and I had a rank and I had a title, but you know how it is. I mean, somebody makes 80,000 a year in network marketing after you pay taxes and everything else. It's not exactly, uh, oh, you get to retire that kind of money. So full time struggling, doubted myself a lot. And I finally made a decision to be a professional three and a half years in at an event and um, decided to become an expert and stop worrying about my upline or what the company was going to do or the next product that needed to come out or compensation plan that I hoped would change or any of that stuff. Looking for that magical distributor is going to change everything for me. Um, I let go of that. And I just took responsibility with what I needed to do. And I got to tell you, once you make that decision, everything changes. It didn't take long. Another three, three and a half years after that, um, I was a million dollar a year earner inside of this profession by the time I was 29 years old. And um, I'd love to tell you that was a continued to be a rocket ship for, for the last 32 years. But again, in every business, in every entrepreneurial thing, there's ups and downs. There's changes. So let me just address that. So if you want to be a millionaire, you're going to have to work your tail off in this industry. But the reality is, isn't it incredible that that's open to anybody who takes it seriously? I find that absolutely extraordinary. Uh, it, I'm another example of it. You know, I've had many seven-figure years. I've had some eight-figure years. That's A lot of that's also been in online marketing where I used online and network marketing. Uh, and he's right. There's ups and downs in every business model. I've had traditional businesses, same thing there. I've had big success there and then also big flops there. Uh, in entrepreneurship, there's ups and downs. But 
the network marketing industry, there's no question, offers the most leverage, meaning per, gives back to you significantly more than you put in in comparison to other business models. It's so low risk because it's so low cost to get started. Uh, it really is incredible on a lot of levels, but I want to be clear, if you want to be a millionaire, which I know is not a goal for most of you, but if that were, most of you would be really happy with, you know, 10,000 a month residual coming in. Uh, that would totally free up your life. Uh, it'd be life changing for most of you. Uh, but for those of you who do want to be millionaires, let's be clear. Uh, this business model requires you to work your tail off, as would any business model. This one less so, quite frankly, than any other that I've seen. By far. But still, let's not have any, you know, illusions. Uh, if you're going to want to become a millionaire, as he ended up doing by the age of 29, I've had many million uh, dollar years. Uh, Jenna, multi-millionaire from this industry alone, uh, you, you're going to need to work your tail off. And you're going to need to work hard and you need to take responsibility for your success, even with the help that we're giving you, which is massive. You know, literally helping you build your organization and directly, like placing business volume there. Uh, even with that, you need to take responsibility for your success, obviously. Uh, I hope that's obvious. Uh, it should be. Challenges, there's opportunities, there's pitfalls, there's betrayal, and there's uh, best friends. I mean, it's, it's all mixed into a career in any business. And um, what I love most about network marketing is it's very forgiving. You know, it, it, it forgave me of a lot of shortcomings. I had to grow. I had to get better, but it didn't fire me. You know, the profession itself didn't fire me. And, uh, the skills ended up creating a place for me. And, um, then 11 years ago decided to, uh, for a bunch of reasons, decided to start doing some generic training as a way to give back to the profession. And, um, and that turned into a few years after that, it turned into, uh, my whole life. So, um, it's, uh, you know, like the movie, it's a wonderful life. Um, I'm super grateful. If you ever hear me complaining about anything, just come and slap me as hard as you can slap me. Um, because, uh, network marketing's created an incredible life for me. That's great. You know, and your story sounds a lot like my story and many of the people that have succeeded in this industry, you know, it's usually not, I was an overnight success. I, I don't, feel like that's anybody's story at least you know not their first three years and oftentimes not their first six years I'm six years into my daily choice right now that's how long we've been around and you know there it wasn't without ups and downs peaks and valleys and you know struggles along the way and I feel like sometimes that kind of can discourage people initially because if you are starting into this industry from that so I just want to clarify so they're into their, you know, at the end of this year to be their sixth year. So it, it, from the perspective that uh, it matters to me, uh, they have made it past a really key point. I just want this to be really clear. Most network marketing companies fail within the first two years. In fact, 90% of them statistically fail in the first two years. There's so much, you know, so many things that can stop you in, when you're a startup. Of the few that make it past the second year mark, only, only 10% of those make it to the fifth year. 90% of those so fail. So again, 90% fail in the first two, and 90% fail of those by year five. Doesn't leave very many left. Those that survive that fifth year mark have this huge potential for massive growth, and they're just past that fifth mark. It is an exceptional time to be able to get involved with a company right there that has already done 100 million in sales, so you know that they can do it. They can pull it off. Desperation. And then you realize immediately that, wait a minute, this is also hard work. Like, like life out there is hard and life in network marketing is also hard. So you got to choose your heart and you got to decide which avenue you're going to take this seriously and really be so important guys. And I, 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 sorry to be cutting in so much, but, uh, yeah, it's what you're doing now. is hard guys. Like, let's be honest. And if you don't have a lot of money and freedom, that life is pretty hard. I've been there. Uh, so let's be honest about, yeah, yeah, okay, is network marketing hard? Well, compared to what? Like, that's what's so funny. Compared to what? To me, it is extraordinarily easy. It's extraordinarily easy compared to not having residual income 
that can continue to grow and compound. It's, ex it's, it's extraordinarily easy in comparison to starting a traditional business, which I have done, and having employees and everything. It's extraordinarily easy in comparison to internet marketing when that's all you're doing for income. Uh, it's extraordinarily easy in compared to having an Amazon store, or you name it. Uh, having a coaching business, a consulting business, or having a job that has no potential to ever let you have walk away income. It's extraordinarily easy in comparison to any other avenue. I, I mean, let's just be like real. It, it is absolutely easy compared to any of those other options. And I know that you're in one of those other options. So when I talk about easy, that's what I mean. I'm comparing it to reality. I'm not talking about easy in comparison to you know, sitting on the couch, you know, eating bonbons or something. Become that professional. That's something that I learned from you. Speaking of which, I want to ask you, what taught you network marketing? Was it a specific mentor? Was it a specific book that kind of created that shift where you, because your book wasn't out yet because you had to write it, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. For, for before your book came out, how did you learn to become a professional in this industry? Well, it, it started with me uh, with a series of mentors. Some of them had, were around. One of them was my father's partner in real estate, a guy who believed in me. He wasn't necessarily more skilled in network marketing than me, but his belief in me was really, really a big deal. I wanted to live up to his expectation. He was a millionaire, successful guy, um, and he was one of the first ones. And then I found a, a gentleman by the name of Michael Nelson, who was cross lined to me, lived in Minneapolis where I lived at the time. And um, I just decided to earn my way into his inner circle and learn as much as I could from him because he couldn't, he couldn't profit from me. I wasn't his downline. So, so how often are you hanging out with successful people, guys? Like how often are you hanging out with millionaires? Like right now, just, you know, when you're first starting out, uh, that's not something that's accessible in a physical sense. And now with, you know, the, the pandemic times, it's even more challenging to be in a physical space with anybody. But this is hanging out. Right now, you're hanging out. I'm a seven-figure earner. Eric Worre is a seven-figure earner. Jen is a seven-figure earner. We're all very different. We've all done it in different ways. It, this is hanging out with successful people. This is your opportunity to do that. You're going to need to do that more. Like, let me just be straight up. If you want to be successful, you're going to need to hang out with successful people like this. So that might mean that you're not hanging out with whatever content, you know, social media content habits that you have. Like it's a different way of thinking. You have to surround yourself with successful people. They say that if you take the average income of the five people you hang around with most that you're, you know, therefore most influenced by, whether you know it or not, uh, that uh, the average income of those five people you hang out with most is your income. So if you're hanging out with people, you know, with a you know a lower level income, it's going to impact the way you think, and it's going to have a massive impact on your expectations, and therefore the actions that you take and the opportunities that you seek and that you believe that you're capable of. Uh, and, and this counts. Uh, when I was first starting out, hanging out with a circle of successful people meant plugging into Jim Rohn's audio cassettes back in the 90s for me. So I didn't demand it. I didn't stop my feet. I just earned it. Um, by I, I earned my way into his inner circle. And then I started to seek out, once I made the decision to go pro, I started to seek out who are the best people in the company at any particular skill. And then either study them or interview them or attend their trainings, take the notes and then put it into practice. I read all the books I could read. I, I went to every event that there was. I never missed an event. Um, I, I committed to being a student, not just in theory, but in practice. You know, There's a difference between writing it down, having it in a journal, and actually going and doing it. So I would find a thing. It's like, for, give me an example. How many times are you going to have somebody say to you, I don't have the money? to do this business for the rest of your life. That's going to happen. So I just decided that I was going to learn how do people answer that question and get it over with once and for all. So I did, I went and did my little research and figured out how to answer that question. And then I said, okay, the other one I get all the time is I don't have the time. How do I deal with that? 
And is there a way that I could deal with any objection? Is there a formula I could come up with that I could teach? So he comes from more of a sales background than what a lot of people that I work with ever will need to do. Uh, where, where I have really, you know, developed a strength that I pass on to my team is leveraging automation, uh, leveraging this, like a system that directs people to presentations. And while there is some engagement, you know, it's not on the phone like he would have done or in person like he would have done. It's a different world now. And so, you know, there's no question because I, it was in the industry in the 90s. It is significantly easier today than it was back then. Uh, but it's still helpful, of course, to have the right mindset and to know how to respond to certain things. So I share that kind of stuff. Like, so for example, in my case, it's less about sales skills, like is where, where he would have come from, and more about uh, a mindset. Like, so for, let me give you an example. Someone emails me, and that's how it would usually be, or would email you and say, you know, how much does it cost? Like, I already know, if that's all they say, and I don't know who they are, I already know, like, it's probably not a very good prospect. It's probably not somebody who has the right mindset. I, mean, I, I don't give up on them right away, but my response could be a number of things, but it might sound something like this, like, hey, Scott, I, I'm a little concerned that we don't know each other and you're already throwing a question like that out to me because this is a relationship business, and if I were to work with you, you know, I'd be mentoring you in the business. So, you know, while the video we have answers that question, you know, I'll put the answer below, but understand like if you want to be successful, um, we need to develop you know some kind of relationship, and I need to understand that can I support you? And, and right now I have no clue if I can do that. It's a much more uh, important process than just answering the question, how much does it cost? And by the way, there's a free level. It's also a $600 level. It's really about where you're at, and do I believe that I can support you? So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and let's start this off on the right foot. Like again, like I'm not even thinking about how to answer it like he might in a sales approach. I'm just being real. And I like to teach people how to just be real. And of course, initially you get to leverage me significantly on the team for that kind of stuff. And you're using my systems, my process, my presentations, my emails. But there is that little bit of engagement where someone might ask you a question and I show you how to answer those kinds of responses too, but it's less from a sales culture like he might be coming from, which is more of the older school stuff. And it's more of just like being real with people. Like someone emails me some silly question without me knowing who they are, like, you know, you're going to be real with them. Uh, so a lot of differences there and it's a lot easier now to build. Not only I could do, but I could teach. And, and I started to apply that to all the different skills inside of network marketing. And so I would say the profession itself was a mentor. And he's also you now in the business of teaching people skills. So he's from the old school method. So he's going to do that. And it could be really helpful. It could be really helpful for you. But I do want you to understand we have a system here. I'm going to stop it right now. I'm going to give you a link to this full interview if you want to watch it. And I just want to say the biggest thing here, a couple of takeaways actually. The biggest one being, this is a profession. And if you treat it professionally, it's going to pay you professionally. And in this industry, getting paid professionally is huge income. Uh, you can make, he, he goes on to talk about how, you know, one of the sins in the industry is telling people they can make a bunch of money right away. You can. I became a 50K affiliate my first month in this business. Uh, you absolutely can. But is this the f first time I paid my dues? No. You know, so... You know, I, I have a really strong mindset. That's going to have a huge impact. Uh, I know what to do. Now, I'm showing you everything I do, and it's not that hard, but I put a lot, for example, I do advertising. Not all of you are going to be able to afford advertising initially. I do, I spend a lot of money. I make a lot of money back. I have the confidence to do that. You may not have the confidence to put that many resources into it, or you may not have any resources. You might have to start like real, at a really low level. There's even a free level. Well, you have to hustle your butt off at the free level, and obviously you don't have as much leverage. So it depends where you're starting from. depends where your mindset's at. But he does go on if you watch the full interview, and he talks about how one of the biggest sins in the industry is people saying you can make a lot of money really fast. I just want to be really clear and kind of push back on that a little bit. The reality is a lot of people can make a lot of money really fast. There's even people who come into this company 
that are now making over a hundred thousand a month that eighteen months ago eighteen months ago were broke um, but again every situation is differently like in that case that I'm referencing right now that person had had success before uh, in the past and even though they started from scratch they had the right mindset they knew how to throw themselves into it uh, there are a lot of people though that come in and and make good money their first month who never had success before in this company so you know, I do want to push back on that a little bit. Uh, I think what's really important to understand is, and he's right about this, like it, you have to take responsibility for your success and you've got to be reasonable. So talking about expectations and reasonable expectations, uh, you know, I can help you put a plan together and we can have that conversation by email initially because I don't want to be on the phone all day. Uh, by email initially, uh, I can help you, you know, get clear on your expectations and so forth. Uh, this is not a job, so there's no guarantee that you make money at a certain point in time. This is entrepreneurship, you know, and there's a certain mindset that understands that. But if you want to be successful, whether it's seven-figure millionaire income or it's, you know, we walk that down to 5000 10000 a month residual income, this is a path to do it. It is a serious business. It is a professional business, but you have to treat it seriously and professionally if you want it to pay you as such. Okay, so you can find the link. I'll provide it somewhere around here where you can watch this full interview. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I, I really want you to understand no matter where you are in life, you might be have a, have a professional career you're unhappy with. You might want to be able to get out of a job environment and work towards having residual income that you can walk away from and see grow and expand, do something more fun. Uh, where maybe you're really struggling right now. You know, I know people who started living; they were living out of their car, so they're really motivated. Like wherever you're at, uh, you're in a position where you have the resources to duplicate my model and do advertising and leverage it more that way, or you have to start with free methods to build the business. You know, let me know where you're at. Contact the person who referred you if it wasn't me. Let them know where you're at. We'll help you, you know, put a plan together that has reasonable expectations. This is the best system. I've been in this industry of opportunity world, not only in network marketing, but also internet businesses and also traditional businesses. I have never seen anything with this much leverage and potential and ease of entrance and that's working so well for so many people with experience or not. So if you're looking for fantastic mentorship and a fantastic vehicle to create an amazing lifestyle for yourself, get the questions answered that you need to. Find out about our unique strategy because we go way beyond anything Eric Worre's even ever seen with leveraging systems to build your business uh, much faster uh, than I've ever seen uh, being able to be done anywhere else because you get our help. So find out about that as well. All right. I'll see you soon.